Okay, this is the last session on rapid play on the hardest chess site in the world. Let's just grab this pawn here, keep everything as simple as possible. As we've done within the beginner tutorial, the um, intermediate tutorial and the advanced tutorial that we've done for ourselves. Just keep things real simple. Only difference is the amount of calculation that you do in the advanced, you know, maximum maybe four. But it's knowing at which stage. Um, I like to keep all three of them in there, you know, looking at the game saying, well, am I still in the beginner stage here? Because you could miss something thinking too advanced you could miss something that a beginner could actually see so I'm going to bring the bishop here and attack the pawn because it's got no protection on it's a usual play for this type of um, opening and then as the game goes on just because it's developing on doesn't mean that it's going into the intermediate stage or the advanced stage it can change just like that like this position could you could look at it and go oh there's an advanced movement here let's go with that or there's a slight intermission to intermitting type movement that I can do to build on maybe an advanced um, position or there's a basic capture that I could go for so we could castle or we could develop the bishop develop the knight don't really like this knight being here but the small move like this is not going to work for us so we shall just castle they've gone for a small move protecting so they are looking for the knight to jump down so I'm actually going to bring the pawn here because it's nothing worse than seeing a beginner type position and not actually doing anything about it and then later on going oh I should have just simply blocked the knight off so jumping from beginner intermediate knowledge I do like doing this move as we mentioned before you know doubling the pawns if they do take and um, gives us space but obviously now this pawn is protected by this pawn so is it the same type of situation smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong so we could go for that quite easily could attack the bishop then or we could just uh, push here and then attack the bishop smaller piece attacking a higher piece I think they're probably still looking to keep the diagonal x-raying through to our king let's push the pawn now to jam in the bishop if they forget themselves probably can expect either this or this So again, still thinking, okay, beginner level, let's go and attack a higher piece. Let's just keep attacking the higher piece. Or do we go here? The problem with going here is if they do take, we have to take with the bishop. We can't take with the pawn because his rook will take our rook. So there are options here, which is going to be better. Probably going for the knight, you know. Although going for the knight allows them to actually come and attack our bishop. Could take their knight off the board. Maybe I'm not happy with that. Let's just push on to the bishop. Keep it simple. Keep it beginner level. We could still take the knight off the board here. So I think they'll be wanting to get their knight out. Maybe the bishop's working quite nicely there though. It's... Um, Hmm. So, still thinking of doing this. It's annoying dark square bishop. Is there any creed and anything going here? Getting the rook up. No. You know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Um, I like it. I've said this before and um, every time I'm always all thinking about it but I may as well do it double pawns aren't that bad let's go here freeze up some space now 
gets rid of the complication of that power base of that bishop. Right. I feel like I can get into the game and play some chess. So they're going to go running castling. So the idea is for this knight to get to here, to get to here. Big, nice, long run. Let's move this knight back to give space for... Oh, it's going to be blocking... Shall we just continue with that pattern? I don't think we're going to get there, are we? And plus he's protecting that square twice now. That's a bit odd. But, um, maybe they're coming here. Oh, he's gone there to protect the bishop. Very nice touch. Okay, so it's a knight fest. I think I am taking because otherwise my knight gets taken. So we can't really continue that because then our pawn doubles on this side. So are we looking now to just get the rooks trying to attempt to own the files? I don't think it's going to stay there too long. So they'll castle. Gives us time to maybe get them doubled. Maybe gives us time to get them doubled. So, oh, go high up. Oh, do I get it trapped though? Does the knight go in front? Is there a blocker? Let's get it high up. Let's get the rookie supporting. There's no blocker, is there? Nope, not yet. Unless he goes like this, then he's going to try and block with it. Mind you, we've got the pawn here. Let's not get carried away. Okay, so we're going for a trade. I wonder if they want a draw. Let's go seek if they want a draw. They probably will do because we're... But no, maybe they're going for a win. I did click it, didn't I? Waiting for the opponent to respond. Could come here, attack the palm. He's waiting for my next move. Let's go and attack the pawn. Hey, there we go. Nice one. Right, excellent. I probably don't need to do any more. I've, for me, it's just for myself, like just showcasing the the answer process within, especially the highest, the strongest chess site in the world, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, we've reached our peak on the highest chess site in the world. I'm fairly happy with that um, within the rapid. So that's it for now for the um, answer process for the hardest chess site in the world. Um, it is possible, but you, you have to really put the time and effort in to improve your game and the quality of your game because they are really strong players on this site. This is the limit for me on this hardest chess site. 1800 is fine for me. It wasn't a rating ladder climb thing. It was just the exercise to look at improving the quality of our game. So I'm really happy and comfortable with the quality of the games that we're playing. Um, they're by no means master level or anything like that, but they are good enough for my casual chess playing. They're good enough for me to play and feel confident that well, what I'm working on for the long play games does work and it is functional, it's efficient, it's effective, but it's not perfect. Nobody's chess is perfect. Um, but it really does help me enjoy the games a lot more. So that's me signing out for the longer play games on the hardest chess site in the world. 